actually being able to understand and communicate effectively with stakeholders right the way across the country is absolutely vital. So having people on your team who can help you navigate that, that area and sort of understand how best to communicate in different circumstances is really critical. What is it you look for in that comms team? The thing about the, the PR side of it is they need to be over everything. So they need to have an insight into everything that the organisation is doing. So you've got to try and integrate the PR operation as much as possible into every part of the business. So when there is an issue, positive or otherwise, they're already briefed, they already know what the core points are there because that can speed up your response and actually get you on top of the issue as opposed to running to keep up with it. What's the role of public relations and communications in a crisis? And can you summarise the value that those teams bring in those situations? I don't think any, any chief executive looks forward to uh, the Sunday afternoon phone call uh, that something's breaking in the, in the Monday papers or the Friday afternoon call. Um, I think an effective PR team on your staff will actually take the shock factor out of that because it's something you will have prepared for. It's something you will have done scenarios on. So if and when it does happen, uh, you're prepared. So there's not that sort of immediate rush or fear as to sort of, oh my God, what are we going to do now? Actually you think, okay, this has happened. Which plan do we put into action? What can you tell us about the energy industry's post-Brexit plans? And what's your personal prediction for how the next six to 12 months will play out? One of our big concerns is actually how, as a sector, or actually as a country, uh, we engage with Brussels post-Brexit. We are reaching out to other organisations using the trade associations that we're involved in to start building a new network and one that doesn't include UK MEPs or, or UK officials. Energy is one of those areas where we are physically connected um, to uh, mainland Europe, whether it's gas or electricity. So there is a reason for actually ensuring that those relationships are, are still there and can develop.